In this session, let's learn about process monitor. This process monitor keeps on monitoring the several processes in the Oracle instance. You can think that as a manager to all the processes. Okay, this process monitor is used to perform process recovery whenever a user process fails. Whenever this user process fails, this process monitor cleans up the database buffer cache and frees up the resource that are used by the user process. Example, if the user is trying to update the customer table and for some reason the user process fails, then the process monitor comes into picture, cleans up the database buffer cache used by that user process, changes the status of the customer table from active to inactive, releases if any locks are established and removes the process ID from the list of active process. This is what exactly it does whenever a user process fails. Okay, and the second point is it monitors sessions for idle session timeout. That means if any of the user sessions timeout, it sends an error to the user saying your session is timeout. Okay, and the third one is it keeps on checking for all the required dispatcher and server process and if any of the process is stopped for whatever reason it is, the process monitor restarts that stopped process. Okay, and the fourth point is it dynamically registers the database services with the network listeners. That means the process monitor regularly checks the status of the Oracle instance and updates the network listener saying, okay, my instance is active. My instance is active. If for some reason the instance is inactive or is stopped, immediately the process monitor will update the network listener saying the Oracle instance is down. Like this, the process monitor makes sure all the processes are running and recovers the user processes whenever they fail. Okay?